Well, uh, Ray for Austin, man, quite a career. 11 seasons in the league. Uh, the first guy to transition from street basketball to the NBA. Uh, I mean, really, you just broke a barrier that had never been broken before. And after that, were there any streetball guys who joined the NBA after you? Not that I can know. Not not a streetball guy that garnered the name, uh, who was classified as a streetball legend at such a young age. Remember, by the time I was 16, they was classified as a streetball legend. And it was, people think because of mainly Rucker Park, but because I didn't have the storybook career, most of my basketball was in all the tournaments in New York City. Well, I don't know if you ever heard of West 4th Street. Uh, you name a tournament at that time in the mid to late 90s in New York, I played them. I, I made sure every time people would follow, they'll find out what team I'm on in some of these tournaments and they'll get to that part. I don't care if I was playing in the Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Long Island. They would get there because they're like, I got to watch this kid play. And I never disappoint them. So not that I know of that I can say. Um, what I can say is there had there were a lot of these guys that had the ability to do so. Now, for whatever reason, they didn't want to give themselves that chance to go do it. But there were a lot of guys out there that I ran across that, woo, like, man, he just, you know, uh, you know, it's a challenge, man. And one, I think I left that off through my journey is that it's a challenge, man, for a lot of guys that are talented basketball that's, that play predominantly street ball basketball to go and have to play in a structured, structured setting and you never hone your skills on that. You never base your skills on being in a structure. See, my people, the thing with me was from the time they injured the ball, I was always in a structured setting. I only did the playground stuff in the summertime. But throughout my travels, and I always studied tapes on uh, a lot of basketball play. Like, so I, I studied so much tape on Rod Strickland, Mark Jackson, Pearl Washington, Kenny. And so I always studied how to run a team, how to be the quarterback of a team. So, uh, but playing the playground, man, it, 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 it may be tough. Growing up in the environments I grew up doing, some of the things I had no business doing out there in New York City, in Queens, South Side of Queen. It again, it made me tough. It made me who I who I am today, and, and that's what helped me through my journey because I had some I had some tough times throughout the journey. There you have it, Ray for Austin, man, aka Skip to My Lou, man. Congratulations on a storied yeah, career, thank you, man. Uh, break, breaking boundaries, uh, and really being a, an inspiration, you know, to the, all the kids that are playing, you know, in the streets right now, you know who who say, hey, one day I'm going to make it to the NBA. You know, until you came around, no one could really say that. Right. And now and now there's an aspiration saying, okay, well, Rafer did it, so I'm going to do it too. Right. And, and, and as you know, growing up and, you know, as a kid, you know, you need the role models. If you don't have, the role models are the goal that you, you aim towards. Right. And if you don't have a goal, it's like playing with a blindfold on. You know, yeah, you might score accidentally, but most times, you know, more times than not, you're not, you're just going to fumble. And, you know, giving, giving kids that, that role model, that, that target to go towards, I think is something that you could, you know, really be proud of for the rest of your days. Because you, you really did it. You know, you made it to the NBA and you stayed at the NBA. It wasn't just like a little right. fluke where you were there for one season and then that was it. Nah, you were there. You got to the NBA finals. You know, you were making it to playoffs. You played with some of the greats. Some of the absolute greats, man. And, you know, I really, truly appreciate you coming. Man, thanks for story. having me, man. Thanks for having me. Big fan of all your uh, interviews, man. I watch them day, every day. I check out if you came out with a new one, man. Uh, man. Shout out to Vlad TV and everybody, man. Thank you, man. I truly appreciate it, man. Until next time. Yep. Peace. Peace.